Vild Svina is the original Gerslauer Eurofighter. Located at Bon Bon Land in Denmark, this ride still serves as the park's largest and most thrilling coaster. But how does it stack up to the newer Eurofighters? Find out in this review of Vild Svina. Gerslauer got their start in the roller coaster market with some family coasters, but they made a major splash in the early 2000s. They introduced the Eurofighter model which would forever change the coaster industry. This compact model offered big thrills and a small footprint, making it appealing for smaller parks. The coaster would be the first to offer a beyond vertical drop, a maneuver other manufacturers have since copied. Vild Svine opened in 2003. The coaster stood just 72 feet or 22 meters tall, but the ride had quite the presence with this 97 degree first drop. And I like how much of the coaster's first half travels adjacent to the midway to showcase the attraction. Now, this ride's paint scheme is pretty weird. The low sections of track are painted red, and the taller sections are painted blue. All the park's taller attractions have a similar shade of blue, so I suspect it may be a height restriction thing. Vild Svine translates to wild boar, and the ride's an eccentric theme. But what else would you expect from this park? It blends pigs and racing. All the vehicles have this angry looking boar on the back. The station is this giant truck. Then a few colorful boar statues are around the attraction. Most of the layout is free of theming, but that's fine for this type of ride. Like many Eurofighters, these trains have just two rows. Each row seats four riders for a total of just eight people per train. Vild Svine was running two trains the day I visited and had just a modest 10 to 15 minute wait. The crew was loading the trains quickly and efficiently and you have just an over the shoulder restraint so it's simple to check. I much prefer the freedom of a lap bar in the newer Eurofighters. It also eliminates the risk of headbanging which you can get in some of the Eurofighters. Fortunately the oldest one is still fairly smooth so it was a comfortable experience. Once dispatched you turn out of the station and ascend the vertical lift. I'm guessing this is because it was the prototype but this vertical lift is significantly slower in the future Eurofighters. At the top you're thrown over that beyond vertical drop and it's as good as always, you get a strong burst of ejector airtime. It must have really caught people off guard back when it opened and this type of drop wasn't widely available. You then navigate a large overbank. It's light on the forces, but it's a fun maneuver because of how sharply it banks. Next is the ride's lone inversion, a vertical loop. This is a pretty circular loop and it's quite forceful. The newer Eurofighters seem to have inversions based more around hang time so it was interesting to experience an inversion more based in positive G's. You then twist into the mid-course brake run. You're lightly trimmed and then you dive into the 540 degree helix. You get some okay positives after the swooping drop, but the rest of that helix isn't too intense. You then twist towards the final brake run. The entry into it is a sharp little hump that gives some floater air time, which is a nice touch. You then smoothly come to a stop, ending the 1,404 foot or 428 meter long coaster. So what would I rate Vild Svine? I would give the first Eurofighter a 6 out of 10. This is still a decent ride. The super steep first drop and vertical loop are two standout elements. Then while the rest of the ride isn't too notable, it does track smoothly and it's mostly free of head banging. This coaster is a nice fit for Bon Bon Land, but its impact extends far beyond this Danish theme park. This became one of the most popular coaster models for small parks, and it also inspired other manufacturers. Others such as SNS and Intamin started adding beyond vertical drops, and other manufacturers like Zero and Zamperla started to make compact coasters with similar elements and style to Eurofighters. So those are my thoughts on Vild Svine. What do you think of the first Eurofighter? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you can consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.